So if this warning, if you see this warning on your Audi, see that? Is that right there? That's a warning. So you can look. So it says left tail light faulty, but I'm gonna show you what tail light they talking about. So remember, we have to replace this bob. So we have to remove this. So to remove this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop this plastic. Let me get something. So you need something to pop this up like this, and then. So it is a screw holding the tail light. But the screw is far down there. So that's that's what you need. A T25 range. So basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna insert your T25, you're gonna feel the screw. Okay, now it's loose. So I don't have a plastic tool. Then I have this. So you're gonna go here on this corner. Go. Oh, it comes right out. See? It came right out. And this is the bulb we're gonna exchange. This one. Let me see. Let me see. This is this is the bulb. Or is this one? I don't know. Oh, this is the one. As you can see, it's black. So the advanced auto parts did not give me the right part. This is way bigger. It's not even gonna fit. So I'm gonna have, see? This is way bigger. Not even gonna fit. Look, the difference. Uh, now I gotta go to advance our parts and try to get the right bulb. So I'm back from our zone. Advanced auto parts, I should say. And that's what they give me. So hopefully, it's gonna be the same. I put a glove on so I don't wanna touch the bulb with my skin. Okay, it's in. Move it around so you can see. Maybe in here, bed. So now what do you do? Go that in and turn it like this. Clicked, it should be good. So let me go turn the lights on 
Let's see if it goes up. Okay, now it's on. And it's on. Okay? It's on. So that's how you do it. Okay, so now you tighten good. And after it's tight, you can feel it when you screw it. So you put this in. This goes in here, and this is gonna go in there. Oh, hold on. Okay, let me do the power on. See if the warning went away. is on. Let me see if the warning went away. Okay. There you have that and that's it. So the warning went away. Lights are on. That's it. I will say these all these they are very smart. I have this car for five years and this was the uh, I would say that's not an issue. This I think it's something normal, but but this was the first uh, bob or problem that I have with this car. Um, it's five years old and it was the first thing that went wrong on this car. I, I'm gonna say though, I change the oil every 5,000 miles, not 10. Every 5,000 miles because of the turbos, I change the oil every 5,000 miles and when when it's 60,000 miles I will replace the uh, transmission oil uh, hopefully with this video I help some of you out there I'll see you on the next video Die